Congress at 530 tonight. We begin with the latest on a story we've been tracking on ethics complaints filed against lawmakers for making errors on their financial filing forms. And tonight, the commission voting to give them a second chance. I would assume reporter Kim Kalunian has the story new at 530. The Ethics Commission's profile is particularly high right now, with lawmakers considering whether to restore the Commission's full authority to police members of the General Assembly. Today, the Commission voted to take action on several fronts. With one in four lawmakers having to amend their financial disclosures under penalty of perjury, the Ethics Commission today voted to authorize a one-time grace period for all officials in Rhode Island to fix any inaccuracies in their financial statements. They'll now have until July 18th to do that. Because of the decision to implement the grace period, the Ethics Commission is dismissing a complaint filed by the Rhode Island GOP against Representative Anastasia Williams. We reported last month she's twice failed to list any income on her disclosure forms, errors that Williams has now fixed. The commission's decisions come as lawmakers consider a bill backed by both the House Speaker and Senate President that would restore the Ethics Commission's power to police the General Assembly, something that was diminished by a 2009 court decision. The proposal would establish a campaign season blackout period where ethics complaints could not be filed, something Speaker Mattiello and Senate President Piveweed say would prevent political mudslinging. It does laser target this perception out there that there are third party complaints that are politically timed. The Ethics Commission voted Tuesday to start the process of creating a 90 day blackout period saying it will seek public comment. And the Ethics Commission also voted today to move forward with an investigation into a complaint lodged against Pawtucket Mayor Donald Grebian, alleging that he hired a tenant of his to a city job. The mayor responded today with a statement to us saying in part the allegations are politically motivated and timed, and he looks forward to working with the Ethics Commission to help them clear the air. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.